Hello everyone, training session number 15. Let's get on with it. So find yourself <coughs> some room, as we always do. Get those legs moving, right? This is what it's all about. And for those who were, um, who were watching our last session, thank you very much for wishing us happy birthday. I am a little bit older. Um, and we had, a, we had a wonderful time, right? Like obviously not able to go anywhere, but really that's, that's okay. It's, this is just what we've got to do at the moment. So that's cool. I said Facebook and so general eggs and uh, FaceTime is what I meant to say, not Facebook, but FaceTime and just being able to see my parents' faces and have a bit of chat and uh, that's all you want to do. And um, yeah, we had a nice, uh, I'd never actually made sick day pudding myself. I've eaten a lot of sick day pudding, but never made it myself. Quite an easy dish to do. Um, so we had a bit of fun doing that there and butterscot sauce, wow. I did not know there was that much butter and sugar in that. Wow. <laughs> Very tasty though. <laughs> you have to portion that, right? You can't go too hard on that, otherwise, yeah, you definitely do feel such a legs a little bit sick for that. But that's okay. So that was nice, and we got a little bit left over, so we've been enjoying the last couple of days. <laughs> Why not? That's the point of sticky day point and all of those desserts, right? You don't just make enough for that one day, you want a little left over for the next day, and then, you know, as it gets to night time, you look forward to it for sure. Alright, giving these legs a real good stretch. Ah, oh, feels good just to give the glutes a bit of a stretch. Good quad stretch. Hopefully everyone really enjoyed our last session here, adding obviously a little bit of dumbbells into some of our work. Uh, just makes for a bit of fun. Um, and, pardon me. And we have a whole bunch of other things here that we could add to it there, but if you guys don't have it at home, it's probably not best. So notice that there's always a bit of a thing to just use in your own body weight and a simple chair to just get some exercise done. Good stretch up, switch up the legs. And I'm hoping everyone's finding themselves okay with the, the face masks. Obviously, that sort of kicked in. Um, yeah, pretty much kicked in on my birthday. So the the Wednesday there, once it uh, got past that day, um, yeah, just that sort of mandatory. So obviously, when everyone's seen uh, watching this, there's been a week of it there, and hopefully everyone's doing really well with it. Today is uh, today's Friday, so I'm getting onto this video a little bit earlier than usual, which is good. Yeah, I'm trying to prioritise my time a little bit better, no doubt. And see stretch. Good, let's find that spot, give it a little bit of hip rotation, and nice to loosen all up. Uh, yeah, I just took the um, took the little puppies out for a, a bit of a walk. Um, yeah, about a couple of hours ago there, and uh, sort of was about to leave my home, sort of got to the end of my driveway and went, oh, yep, that's right, got to be wearing a mask. You know, I even broke myself a note and actually put the mask next to where the leave is, but just didn't even realise it was there. And, yeah, went back inside, popped it back on, and then left the uh, left the driveway, left the property, and, and off we went. But uh, yeah, right. It's just this uh, getting used to it and just having it somewhere around. Good to jump legs. Um, we've got uh, some of our work colleagues actually made us some material ones there, which I'm sure many of you probably made your own material ones. So that's excellent. Um, and yeah, next door they bought a big box of sort of. Um, some disposal ones there, so they asked if anyone on the street needed something, they'd just drop it up and leave it at the front door, so that's very nice of them. They have a couple of disposable ones if need be, but uh, yeah, right, this is just what's going on. This is just what we need to do and how we need to, yeah, just increase a little bit of extra, yeah, give a bit of a pull on the, on the calf, give a bit of a calf strip there, and then we need to do some calf strip, but just a little bit of extra safety procedures. Yep. And let's drive these numbers down as a team. That's what it's all about. Good leg that's forward, good little calf stretch. Good you can move your hips side to side, you can find where those five points are. It's good to stretch it up. So jump sides. And I'm definitely enjoying my cups of tea in these mornings. I've got another batch here there just to get myself nice and warm and no, oh, it's wonderful. Especially these cold ones out. I think I'm working from home I'm not used to having so much tea. If I was out, I would order a coffee. Um, I very, very rarely, unbelievably rarely would ever order a tea out. I'm very much a coffee drinker out, so good to have a top, so it should be quite nice having yeah, a couple of batches of tea and ah, quite a good one. Then we're going through a, uh, it's a T2 called Red, so I can't remember the name of what the actual product is now that's in it. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I feel like it starts with R. Hmm. Basically, I think, I think they know it as the red tea as well. I think that's why it's called Red there. Um, yeah, basically makes your water nice and red and yeah, it just looks like little fennel seeds in there. No, it definitely isn't fennel seeds, <laughs> but uh, very, very tasty. Alright, cool. Go have a little bit of water and we're going to get straight into it, team. Right. 
Oh, uh, that's nice and hot still. <laughs> Why don't I have to let that cool down a bit more, otherwise I'll be better on the tongue. Alright, let's get into it. So we're going to go a little bit more, just some light marching. Light marching, just get ourselves all warmed up. Uh, we're going to go a little bit more sort of stomping, a bit more impact type stuff. So again, I would like everyone to just work between your intensities that you feel comfortable with. Um, hit the floor as hard as you can, especially early on. It's a no-go zone. It's all about let it feel there. So nice firm. Get on the floor, and you can start to lift those legs up a little bit more. Notice that I'm not leaning against the chair, so I'm not leaning back into it. I'm just going to sit myself upright, it's a bit of engaging, my abdominals, and then we can work on just dropping those legs up a little bit higher. So let's get this pace for a bit. Just get that foot used to a bit of impact. Sometimes it's a little bit nicer if you've got carpet, you get a bit of cushioning. Here it's just a nice hard covering, so just striking that floor, getting that feel of it up for your feet. Good. Yes, just prep it. Two, one, go. We're going to leg extend. So we're going to double leg extend on this one here. It's been a while since we've done some double leg leg extensions. Good. So I'm going onto the chair. I'm not leaning against the back. So I'm going to visual again. I'm just upright, getting those quads all fired up there. Also, good. Definitely if it's a little bit tough, you can go one leg at a time. Nothing wrong with that at all. Just about finding that intensity that's right for you. Three, two, one more. Yeah, cool. Stand up nice and tall. And we're gonna get some heavy work going here. Good, it's all about driving the heels towards your bum. That's good one. Great stuff, team. Yeah, yeah. So it's all about that. Get those hamstrings fired up quite nicely. Three, two, one. Half a raise. Oh, I was wrong this one. <laughs> Let's go the wrong way there. Good, so double leg half raise. So I'm looking at doing this, so just push off my toe, getting some nice height on this. Good, we're going to transition this into a single leg half raise. If you're comfortable with it, definitely transition with me. If not, stay double calf raise. We're just making sure all those lower limbs are ready for some extra impact exercises today. Good, so this is single. Let's pop my leg around it, and then obviously only one leg is doing the lift up. Good, just drive you nice and strong off the floor. That's the one. Two, one more. Yeah, let's get into a team. And these are all nice little prepping exercises, gets the blood flow and everything loosened up, everything feeling good, and then we can get into the big bulky stuff. Right. Three, two, one, here we go. I'd suggest um, if you're comfortable not having to use the chair, move it a little bit away from you. Otherwise, pardon me, keep it close by so you can grab onto it. Good, we're just going for some marches. So some standing marches. Notice the height I'm lifting my legs, I'm not coming up too high. There's two ways we can do this. So this is me stroking more on my toes. You can hear it. Flat foot, toes. Flat foot. Toes. Good, so we're going to be changing it up a little bit through today's session. I'd like you to do a bit of toe work for now. At any stage, if you're feeling really fatigued on the toes, you just go flat foot. Flat foot is a little easier, so it's good to know. Good, flat foot now. And see if we can get those knees up high. You work with it, your level team. Yes. Good, notice that this get up to this parallel position there, right? You get to choose it, right? So you've got nice and low. Sometimes I like to put my hands up there so I know if I'm hitting it. I definitely don't bring your hands to your legs. So this is nice and easy. I want you to keep your hands there and bring your knees up to them. Oh, give it a bit of a strike. Three, two, one. Good. I want you to grab onto the chair for this one here. So everyone grab onto the chair. Good. And we're one leg slamming. So I'm actually looking for a bit of drive down. This is flat foot. Most definitely flat foot. Try on the side. Good. The, the key to this one too is my opposite leg. So this left leg is still slightly bent. Right, if this is all locked down, I'm trying to slam, I'm going to lean over onto this other foot. So I want to keep one leg slightly bent, leg that I'm slamming, just giving that a slight down. Notice too when I'm slamming, that knee's always bent too. I never want to hyperextend slam. Good, just legs. So I want you to be holding on to it, feeling stable. Single leg slamming. Good. Get a bit of <clears throat> impact onto those legs. 
Go on some bone density. This is how it is. You gotta put it under some load, put it under some pressure. Two. One more. Excellent. Right at the top. That's what we're looking for, it's on toes. Good, so you just strike at it. Good, again, if that's too tough on the toes, flat forward, but if you're okay, hit those toes nice and easy. You choose that intensity, I can't stress that enough. It's all about you bringing your intensity. You can do it very light, you can really get over the top and give that a good strike. Good, two, one. Move the legs in and out. So heel toe, heel toe. Back legs on my toe, front on my heels. Yeah, you can see that a little bit better through there. Good. Work with the speed that's comfortable for you, team. If you want to hold on to your chair to keep your body upright, you go for it. Good. So we've given us a lot of leg work so far. A lot, a lot of leg work. Good. And you notice heart rate comes up a little bit too. Yes. Two. One. Double leg slams. Yes. Notice it's flat. Foot. Good. If you want to, transition with me. We're going to come up onto our toes in two. Otherwise, stay flat foot. Notice the sound's different. Heels. Oh, heels or flat foot. Either of those two will be the, the word I'd use there. So go and we'll try, try to use the word flat foot. Good. Up the toes when you're ready. Good. Notice when you go toes, you get a little bit more pull in from your calf. You may notice a little bit more through the front of your shins. Your anterior tip just dealing with that. And flat foot to finish off with. Working with that one. Squat time. Just notice your legs might be a bit shaky. You might feel a little bit heavy. And that is A-OK, -okay, super normal. Just take an extra tension through those legs. Good team. Here we go. <laughs> Doing great. Good, five seconds. Four, three. One more. Excellent. Extend both legs out. Good, I'm just going to jump back in. Extend both legs out. We're going to make sure those quadriceps are feeling nice and heavy. What I want you to do is get some ankle rotation. While we're finishing off, getting our calf, uh, getting our quads just nice and fatigued, we want to get some good ankle mobility. So just get some good rotation of your ankle. You may notice one side's a bit tighter than the other. That is okay. We just want to be mindful of it. So in my case, they're a little bit more tighter on my right side than I am my left. It's good to know. All right, three, two, one. Have yourself a drink bank team, halfway there. Nice work. I like that active recovery, walk myself around. Good, you may notice your heart rate's up a little bit team. Yes, exactly what it's all about. <laughs> When my dogs are sitting on the step, just having a bit of a look. I'll give you a quick little view. This is what happens up our stairs. <clears throat> and that's Edie just chilling out. Edie, hey, you want to say hello? <laughs> yeah, sometimes when I'm doing my exercise program, she'll just sit there and have a bit of a look. A bit of a sticky nose. She's just curious on what the uh, on what's happening. <laughs> She's a good one. And that's our uh, chocolate poodle. So chocolate poodle of maybe she's about four and a half. Yeah, she's about four and a half. You four and a half? Yeah, that sounds about right. Just staring me down now, thinking why are you not up here patting me? What she's thinking. <laughs> All right, back into it we go, team. We're gonna start with some double leg calf raises. I noticed I put that on a very different angle there. I do apologize, everyone. Let's see if I can get that a bit better. That's probably a bit better there. Let's do that there. All right, double leg half raise. There we go. Good, push up toes. Excellent. Good, you can lean forward, really drive strong off your toes. Here we go. You put as much resistance as you want down on your knees, making it hard to push up off your toes. Three. Two, one. Good setup, nice and tall. So I always like this exercise, we'll do a bit of leg swing. So it's one, two, three, stop. One, two, three, stop. One, two, three, 
Oh, stop. Sorry, so we've got to be back first. One, two, three. Stop. Good. So what I'm doing is I'm driving my leg back. One, two, three. And then create a stop. So that's going to be going the other leg. Yeah, it takes a bit of time. So swing back. One, two, three. Stop. One, two, three. Stop. Good. And really notice I'm doing a flat foot one there. So it's all about that flat foot stamp. Good, because it's really easy. We're going to do it one more time here, and then we're going to go back and do it again on the other side. It's really easy to progress it by now taking my hands off it there. So if you feel comfortable and you still need to hold on to it, please do. Otherwise, I'd like, oh sorry, got to go back first. I want you to go through it again. Good. So not only are you getting some stomping, you're also using the opposite hip to stabilize. You may find you want to put your hands out to the side. Good. God, have a bit of a play with it, Tini. One more. Switch over. So the leg comes back, forward, back, forward, stomp. All right, count it up. One, two, three, stomp. Oop, starting the lead. <laughs> so this right hip just needs to stabilize a bit better. There we go. Play with it. Remember, if you need to be holding on, please do hold on. And so you can see on my right side, my right hip doesn't stabilize as good as my left. So I'm having to work so much harder to keep myself up right here. Two more. We got this. One more. <laughs> Moving everywhere I am. Good. Awesome. So we're looking for little ones. Notice so I've dropped my legs. Flat foot. Good. So what you can do here, you can go wide stance. Bring it in close. Wide stance. Bring it in close. Good. I'm just going to show up later. Notice my knees are always bent. Good, you might want to do a bit of a something we can do a bit of shuffle to so it. Take a bit of a dance move. Or you can sit on the spot, whatever you want to do. Good, if you feel comfortable, bring it to your toes. Try it on your toes. So knees are still bent. Just working on your toes. You get to hit it down to whatever degree that you feel confident and strong for. Good, back on the heels. Keep going for me, team. You know, I've seen people do like different dance moves with it. Move themselves around. <laughs> sure, part of the fun. It's as long as you're getting that strike in the fall. Good, I rarely face this way. <laughs> Good to switch it up there. Two, and I can do a full circle. <laughs> One. Good standing legs on your toes. Good. No, so much extra lower limb work there. I didn't specify at the start, but it was going to be a full lower limb day where we're just going to load up those legs. This is what it's all about. Good, really you're going to want to do some good stretching at the end there. Good, keep push off your toes. Go with your place on your leg too. Good, just show it on a lateral angle. There is a slight variation you can do here where you bend your knees and then you push off your toes. So you keep your knees slightly bent. It's going to feel a little different, so you can, you're welcome to give that a go. You'll find straight legs is much easier than bent leg position. Good. Okay, three, two, one. Good. So remember how we've done our hammock kick. So hammock kick and right bum. What we're going to do now is shift it side to side. So just notice how I'm shifting it side to side. Now the cool part about this is every time my leg hits the floor, I can stomp. So you can see, I'm working on driving it up and then stomping down. If you need to hold on to a chair, please hold on to that chair. Good. So you're working. Heel to bump stomp, heel to bump stomp, heel to bump stomp. There you go. As you feel comfortable, you can start to get a bit of a rhythm to it. Yes. Just move inside the side. Good team. Good, you work with it there. And very much your just flat foot. No toes on this one here. Good, Nikki. If you need to hold on, please hold on. Five seconds. Good, take a seat on your chair. Hey, it's much tougher. Definitely the hardest impact type session to date. Get some good ankle rotation. Oh, that feels good. Yeah, it's at this. Just a bit of a chance. You're getting tense a little bit through quads. Get ankles to rotate around. Oh yeah. 
Sometimes they can feel really tight and when they are, it just throws everything else out a little bit. You may not want to walk too far of a distance just because they feel a bit uncomfortable where, you know, the truth is sometimes they just need to be warmed up, put a bit of prep in, which is what we've done. And then we work them out and they just feel alive. And that's good. Two. One. Okay, set ourselves up nice and tall. So we're going to do some lateral kicks. Instead of the actual swing, all I want you to do is beat yourself upright, kick one leg out. So it's not a swing pass through, it's just out to the side. Try to keep your torso as upright as possible, so you try not to lean. And stay upright, kick your leg out. Good. You don't have to think about stopping here, you definitely can. I don't suggest it, but you definitely can. I'm really looking for just that kicking out to the side. Good. One more. Switch up sides. Good, kick it out to the side. Good, you get those different muscle groups on your bum, your backside, having to do some of this work. Oh yeah. Three, two, one more. Doing so well, today. All right, coming towards the end. We're gonna get our chest up tall. Good, and what we wanna do is bring one knee right up as high as we can, stomp it down, bring it as high as we can up. Stomp down. This is all about you, your personal intensity. Good. Strike the floor as hard as you want personally. Good. Do you feel comfortable with what you're doing? Not a problem at all. Do you feel like you want to extend it? Play with it. Just bring it up nice and high. Give it a good firm hit down. Good. And then as you feel comfortable, you can work into a rhythm. We have 30 seconds and we're done here, team. Then we get us a drink break, we cool down. Let's bring those legs up nice and high. Yes. Here we go. Hey, looking great to you. Give me 10 seconds. Give me 10 seconds. Bring it up high. Good, strong slide now. Two, one. Excellent. Ah, very good. Let's grab a drink. And we're gonna talk a little bit about how to actually release up some of those muscle groups the back of your legs, a bit more of your calf and under your foot, just what you can do to release those off. Oh, I like this seat. It's cool when you find a winner. And my wife, her grandparents, uh, Tim and, or Pat and Tim as we call them, um, they, are, they love their Yorkshire tea. And so, uh, I think I think the record for them is like six pots of tea a day, <laughs> which is like two for breakfast. It was like two for brunch and then two at night. Six pots and they've got a big pot. Just that's probably upwards of like seven, eight, maybe nine cups of tea. Oh man, that's a lot of tea, right? <laughs> I mean, even I said to him, like, I'm a caffeine fan, and even I think that's crazy how to kill caffeine. Don't recommend that doing all that all the time, but I think they've, uh, they've always had so much Yorkshire tea there, I think their body's just immune to what it is and probably the effects from it. So what we're going to talk a little bit about is just what you can do to actually release up some tension here. So I can use my thumb and sort of massage my leg and give that a little bit of a move through it. I can lean forward. And just with my palm up, I'm rotating out. And this is the one that I personally prefer than bring my leg up. Just leaning over the top, giving that a great little massage through. That feels really quite nice, to be honest. Just working myself through it. There we go. Oh, yeah, so that's great. And just here, yeah, using your thumb, just working through your calf. Good, switch over sides. Because it is quite, um, yeah, it's hard to sort of quantify just how tough that is on your lower limbs without meeting everyone and taking them through some lower limb training. It's hard to know how everyone's calf will pull up onto it, but the key to it is that we warm it up, we get some good ankle mobility, we stretch up all those muscle groups, we train it, and then we give it all a bit of a massage and work in between your intensity as you get better and better. And I even like this, just getting my thumb and just working underneath. Um, it will get better and better. And if it feels quite nice, then do it for longer. That's my recommendation. If it always feels quite nice, then you want to do it for a little bit longer there. Good stuff. Good. Let's get back into our good stretch. Finish everything up nice and strong. Well done, team. Again, thank you for joining us. This is so much fun for me to be able to 
produce all this content for everyone. Um, there's some different groups that uh, we bounce around with some different ideas because no one knows what this looks like as we go forward. So just trying to come up with some different ideas and being able to help out and, and uh, offer, offer some different services, which is always fun. Excellent, switch over legs. Yeah, and I think there'll be a funny little, uh, on a side note, there'll be some funny designs of people when they do their face masks. It won't just be like a standard black or colouring one. People get to have their own unique sort of style onto it. There I heard that one of the girls down the street of us there, the, the mum put up, so we've got like a group chat with everyone on the street. The mum put up a photo um, of the daughter who put like a haz mask. So, you know, like skull and crossbones on her actual... <laughs> on her mask. So like if you look at it, it looked, it looked pretty weird. She said it was like yellow with black or like hazmat suit. Um, or you know like the, uh, the, like the poisons, you know, the skull crossbow and yeah, yeah, you know what it is, I'm just not using the word properly. But uh, yes, yeah, so that'll be a bit confronting when you see that. I think she's done that for a bit of laughs and giggles. And you gotta have a bit of fun here. Cross. Let's get that space to stretch. I've got a stand and my one's a nice denim one there, so it looks like I'm wearing a piece of denim on my face. Eh, whatever, whatever uh, items people have got, they can just make use of it. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I wonder, um, quite a bit. I wonder how the government's going to sort of distribute some of the, um, yeah, some of the stuff that they've got, which obviously it's great. So, Joe Blake's, they've got some extra face masks, but yeah, it's just about distributed out there. So, if you don't have one, I guess, you know, just reach out to people, ask. There'll always be someone who probably has some extra ones. Um, and I'm sure Darren will put up a heap bunch of uh, stuff on the, um, on this web page there, just sort of let people know where they can look and get the information and uh, where they can get them from. Good. Hamstring stretch, please. So, good. bring that leg out in front. Give those hammies a real good stretch. Give it a bit of wobble around. You may just want to transfer forward and backwards just on the ankle just to see how that feels. Um, I find just sort of pulling my toe back a little bit. I can lean forward, grab hold of it there. I can wiggle my hips around. Whatever I feel I need to do just to get some release here. Because yeah, when they're tight, they are tight. Yeah, that's good. That's okay. That's how we do our training. <laughs> Switch over <the> legs. <laughs> we know we're doing hard training if we get some feedback like that. Oh, that's good. Alright. Oh, wonderful. Just giving that a good stretch. Good, excellent. And then let's get to the puff stretch. So we're going to lean yourself forward, keep your heel on the floor, lean yourself over the top. Um, I think it's face mask because we know what puff stretch looks like. So yeah, really hope that everyone's staying safe and communicating with each other and, and finding, you know, uh, just reaching out to each other, you know, and just, uh, I was going to say, finding, finding out what's going on in each other's lives, because I feel like just, how are you doing, hi, how are you, you know, um, what, what, uh, what do you get up to in your data activities, not, not that I need to explain this to you guys there, because you guys are superstars at reaching out to people, but this is just what we need to do, it needs to be more of a conversation of how we conduct ourselves, switch over legs, um, yeah, because, uh, Unfortunately, mental health is a nasty little bugger, and it's out there, and there's people battling, and we all have a place to, to help our friends and family and, and people that we know out with it, and sometimes it is just a dialogue, right? You guys know this, it's your generation that's taught the next generation after, and it comes down to me, and then we're going to help the next generation do better and better, so we're just going to keep improving upon it. Good, and tabletop stretch, we're well, finale. Thank you very much, everyone. Always so much fun, thank you for joining us on this Wednesday. I hope that everyone has a wonderful day post-training, but more importantly that you've enjoyed getting down here, you're all nice and warmed up, and you feel energized to tackle the day. All right, have a wonderful day, everyone. I will see you next week. Bye-bye.